Hey everyone, welcome to the Different Fins channel. Once again, I'm fishing another lake. Today, we're at West Hawk Lake. Let's do this. West Hawk Lake is a small lake. It's about three and a half kilometers long, just over two miles, right in northwestern Ontario, in the heart of the Canadian Shield. Here's the landing. It's uh, it's not the best. You're not gonna get a trailer down there, not without any difficulty anyway. But it's just perfect for a little boat like a kayak. The water's not ice cold yet, but this is the last weekend of September. It's getting there. I'm just paddling through these reeds. Once I'm on the other side, I'll drop the PDL drive, start trolling. You may notice it's a it's a gloomy day today. It's like mist, overcast. Some of my favorite fishing weather, but it's some of the hardest to film in. So if you get a little bit of water on the lens, well, I'll try to stay on top of it, but if the view kind of sucks, well, you're just going to have to deal with it. I'm trying. There we go. Fish on. Whatever that is, it's not a perch. So I get to find out what species is in here. Very predictable. Woo. That would be a northern pike. That water is really orange. Here we go. First species discovered in this lake. Northern Pike. We're on the board. Oh, fish. Nice. What do we have? Bass. Another species not listed in here. What a pretty little spot. There's a small creek flowing into the lake here. I switched up from the lure to a Whistler jig and Berkeley gulp minnow. Nice. Yeah. Discovered another species in here. Smallmouth bass. There it goes. Seriously, how pretty is this? You have ferns growing on the rocks, some beautiful cedar stumps bedrock cliff narrowing the current this is my backyard fish fish on and a third species We have Mr. Walleye. Oop. No perch yet, but we have pike, bass, and now walleye. That's in fact a perfect eating size. 
So, unfortunately for you, you're coming home with me. But look at the, look at the blue, the color and the fins. How awesome is that? Is that a fish? That feels weird. Oh yeah, that's a fish. Little bass. Little guy. Little small mouth, but the fish in here look really healthy. A lot of Northwestern Ontario lakes with bass the bass are just dotted with parasites. You can see them on the outside on the skin. I think these fish would be good to keep and eat if you really wanted to, but I'll stick with the walleye. I've never seen such a red moss before. I saw that coming across the lake and I didn't know what it was. The color looks so unnatural, I just had to check it out. Fish on. Oh, surface already. I'm guessing it's a bass. Oh, yeah. It's a bass. We go. Another bass in the boat. If this is another lake dominated by bass and they seem pretty healthy. I might have to keep a couple to go with that walleye. Oh, fish on. Pike, yep, pike. Take that bait back. There we go. Another nice little pike. Another beautiful creek. This one is outflowing. It goes into another small lake. If it wasn't the end of September and so cold, I would think about running those rapids and uh, getting wet just to see what's on the other side. But I think for now I'm just going to work my way on out of here. The bass. Oh yeah. This lake is dominated by bass. There we go. Nice 
Nice bass. Always fun. What the heck? That was crazy. <laughs> wow, the bass in here are nuts. I just set that lure beside the boat and there was a fish on it already. Fish on, probably, probably a bass, I was just gonna say. Since this lake seems to be dominated by bass, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a few. Really healthy looking bass. And I don't mind eating them. When they're this dominant in the lake, you're not gonna hurt the population. If anything, culling them, keeping a few, selective harvest, will actually benefit the trophy fishery. Less competition over food. You'll have an ultimately uh, larger population of bass if you keep some. So that's what's happening with this guy. Fish on. Do we have <clears throat> walleye? Another walleye. Another walleye. It's a smaller one, but I'm going to keep it. And that'll be enough fish for lunch tomorrow. For me and the wife and the baby. That's two walleye and a bass. It's a pretty decent lunch. Okay. I'm going to keep fishing, but now it's just for fun. West Hawk Lake is number 18 on my 2022 list of 20 new bodies of water to fish and film. We're getting there. Only two to go. I'm having such a fun, relaxing time on this beautiful lake. I didn't have a lot of uh, background knowledge on the lake before I started, but I tackled it like I do any other new body of water. Uh, I look for look for the structure. I caught pretty much all my fish today either in this inflowing creek, the outflowing creek on the other side of the lake, and in the narrows halfway down there's an island that kind of separates the lake and right in the narrows there's quite a bit of fish there. So by looking for structure, drop-offs, you know flowing water you can catch fish in any new body of water. You just gotta get out there and try it. The best technique that's worked today is just finesse fishing with the gulp. I'm pedaling well, one and a half, two kilometers per hour catching fish like that oh he got off basically just balancing the bait off bottom keeping it close to bottom and that's where the fish seem to be hitting what is that is that a bear 
Yeah. It's a bear. Fish on. Woo. Nice bass. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Good scrap. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh yeah, that's a good size one. <clears throat> nice bass. Woo. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's one of the bigger bass I've caught this year. Nice one. Five, five and a half pounds maybe. Gone. Well, if that's the last fish I catch today, could be worse. It's so peaceful and relaxing out here. Like I could literally fall asleep in the kayak just drifting along, catching the occasional fish. I'd love to stay out here, but it is getting late. I'm gonna work my way back to the landing. I got a few fish to clean up. Uh, overall, it was a good day. Fish home. What do we have? Hey, nice walleye. There we go. Very blue walleye, wow. The other walleyes I caught, they had, <clears throat> they had the blue tint Wait till you see this guy. Oh, look at that. That is incredible. I do catch blue walleye from time to time. But wow. What a beautiful fish. Whew. That is cool. Ah, I think I'm done fishing. I'm back on shore. That was a very enjoyable day. I liked that. I knew there was more than perch in this lake. Uh, you may have watched uh, an ice fishing video of mine from last winter where I went out on a small pond right beside the highway and the fish online website said there was perch in this lake. That's what I was fishing for was perch. Well, I didn't catch any perch, but I caught lake trout. It was so weird, uh, totally unexpected. That lake, coincidentally, is just a few kilometers down the road. So when I came here and I saw that uh, perch was the only species listed and this lake is much larger, I knew there had to be something in here. So we got the three new species. Besides perch, we didn't catch a perch really. I'm actually gonna go home go on to that website where you could do a survey and 
I'm gonna I'm gonna tell them that uh, I caught walleye, bass, and pike. They probably know what's in here. Not sure why they don't share that information, but I'll do the survey anyway. But in the meantime, I got a few fish to clean. I gotta load up my kayak and all my fishing gear and head on home. So you guys take care. And we'll catch you next time. Just to show you what I'm talking about when I mentioned the fish online site, I'm on it right now. I'm just gonna zoom in on West Hawk Lake. There it is. Okay, computer's being slow, that's okay. If I click on the icon that says West Hawk Lake, you'll see this information pop up on the side. Here's the water body, this is what I was talking about where it has the maximum depth of 21 meters, average depth 5.2 meters. But when you go to fish, it only has yellow perch listed. Obviously, we know there's more than that now. So I'm gonna to go to the survey button. What date was your fishing trip? It was yesterday, September 24th. How many hours did I fish for? About six. Where were you fishing from? Ice boat, shore. Kayak counts as a boat. What species was I fishing for? Let's say perch because that's all I knew was in the lake. Species. First one I caught Northern Pike. Number of caught, I caught five total, and I kept oops, zero. Next one, one more, smallmouth bass, I caught nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I kept one. And then walleye. Boop. I caught three, I kept two, and then submit form. Thank you. All right, if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate it very much. Cheers and tight lines, everyone.